This house was built in 1926, Cape Cod style. A lot of houses in D.C. don't have a porch. Well, this house has a porch. Every good house has a porch, right? Mm -hmm. So we're exactly yeah. in Deanwood, are we? Yeah, we're in the front of Deanwood, right off of Nanny Helen Burroughs, and also right down the street from the Benning Road Metro. Well, we drove in that way, so we saw this great market right oh, on the yeah. corner. Yeah, amazing deli sandwiches right here. Me and my family walk to the market just about every other day. Oh, uh, wow. well, we will be walking over there and we'll be getting sandwiches I think today. So. Absolutely. Well, this is one great looking house. It's newly renovated. And what you will notice about the bathroom, it's super funky tile, and I think you might like that. Uh, we like funky tile. We Absolutely. Like it. Absolutely. It's a little different. There you, yeah. go, there you go. There you go. So, why don't you guys head in and I'll meet you right back here? Perfect. Okay, Perfect. thank you. Oh, it is completely renovated. Well, isn't this nice? Well, where walls once were are no more. It yes. is just one great open space. Well done. Mm -hmm. How about these casings around the windows? Yes, those, those are definitely original. Updated windows. Yep. Oh, wow. I'm just going to sit nice. right here. We just passed the dining room, another great seat in the house. Even though you have a dining table here, it's nice that they were able to put additional seating. Well, that's the dining room, and this is the wine bar. And like, oh, that's okay, 40 true. something. There you go, ma'am. <laughs> Overall, looking at this kitchen design, yeah. very functional. Yeah. Plenty of cabinet space, plenty of counter space. Really nicely done and well thought out. Yeah, I agree. I love when they do the lighter cabinets above and the darker cabinets below, mm -hmm. because I feel like that darker color kind of weights, you know, the mm -hmm. kitchen, mm -hmm. and it's handsome to boot. It really is handsome. How about that backsplash? That touch of gray mm -hmm. just kind of gives it a different mood to it. And it ties in with the rest of the house so far, the exactly. color, right? Nicely done, and it looks like there's a deck. Oh, let's get your guitar. Oh, this is a nice back deck. If you have kids, there's plenty of room for a swing set, or hey, if you have dogs, this is perfect. So let's check out this door. All righty. Oh, downstairs. Lower level. There we go. Watch your head. <laughs> what a great space. Very nice. And they put in good lighting into the ceiling. But a nod to the original home. Oh, look at this. Well, you know, not only does this give the home character, mm -hmm. but it also holds up the house. That's very important yeah. to hold the house yeah. up. Yeah. And I spy a washer and dryer. Tina, take a look at this. Wow. A full bath. But this is a really nicely designed full bath. Yeah. I mean, the black honeycomb tile on the floor. And it even has their type of oh, it texture does. to it. Good eye. I've never and seen that. And they used it as an accent around the tub mm -hmm. with the white subway tile. Yeah. Really nicely done. And I see something else right behind you. Wow. I wasn't expecting a bedroom down here. Added value for sure. It's super private, has a nice window to the outside and a closet. Nice lower level. Let's go check out the other bedrooms. Okay. All right. Love this look. Another uh, door, Tina. Closet? <gasps> no, it's a half bath. Nice pedestal sink. Mm -hmm. Love the mirror. But where did they find the room? Obviously, they did find the room. Yeah, obviously. I'm really curious of the original layout now. Crazy. We've seen one and a half baths so far. Mm -hmm. That's great that they did that. All righty. All another right, let's door. try. Oh, it's another closet. It's like a half closet. Room closet. And look at the tile in oh, this bathroom. That takes me back to like 1920s Art Deco. Total Art Deco. He said it was funky. I think it's cool and classic. I like the vanity top. You've got the blue cabinet that carries through. Same. There's not oh. one thing I would change. No. I love it. You know what? He was right. We did go gaga over this bathroom. Yes, we did. Left or right? Uh, let's go this way. Okay. This would be the first bedroom on this level. Yeah. I like that they carried over again the original casing. Yeah. It's still bright, mm -hmm. even with just one window. OK. Well, last but certainly not least, the front bedroom. It isn't until you come into a confined space like this where you see how tall the ceilings actually are. This would be the main bedroom, don't you right. think? Obviously, it's the biggest. And I have to add, you have a very nice view of the front porch from this room. So mm -hmm. I think this makes a lovely bedroom. Right. You know, this was a great starter house for Deanwood. It really is. 
Ah, there you are. No. Awesome. So what did you guys think? Great renovation. Yeah. What a great first home. The minute you walk in, you see all the great thought that was put into the design of this home. The kitchen is very nice. Love the blue cabinets and the white cabinets above, countertops, whole nine yards. But I would say our favorite thing was probably the tile you knew we would love. Funky tile. I knew you'd like it. No, yeah. but it's so classic and that deco style. I love it. And I was trying to figure out how they got that half bath on this first floor. Cool story, right? During the renovation process, yeah. there were stairs that led to a bonus bedroom, which we got rid of for attic space. Oh. OK, but you added a ton of storage upstairs, right? A ton of storage. And what we did, we created that extra bedroom in the basement. You have a bedroom and a full bath in the basement, it becomes an income producing property. So this is a newly renovated three bedroom, two and a half bath property, 1200 square feet, built in 1926 with a basement and a backyard and a front yard and a porch. So what do you think? I'm going to say 525,000. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Your turn. I'm going to play the game smart okay. just to uh -oh. leave uh -oh. a wider I margin. Do. A dollar. No, I'm not going to say a dollar <laughs> because I think this is a great house, but I'm going to go for 425 So the actual list price of this home is $472,000. Right. You got it. Thank you very much, Teenwood. Hey, that's a great value for this house. Oh, amazing value. Very unique for DC. Well, great starter. Can't wait to see what's next.